Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy AK back with another gameplay commentary for you guys today. Today I'm actually coming to you guys with a little bit of a tutorial and that's how to unlock the hero gear for your profit character. The most effective method that I know of till this date. Now believe it or not, unlocking the hero gear for the profit is probably one of the hardest ones in the entire list. A lot of the other ones you can just sit there and spam the freaking fire button like the flamethrower for example, or in this case the tempest where you can spam shots across the map and get a lucky 6 man because people are just that stupid enough to walk into it. But without further ado, let's get right into today's tutorial. Now first things first, we're going to get the easy one out of the way, and that is the Tempest. How to get the helmet for your Tempest. I believe it's the helmet or chest please. I'm not 100% sure guys, I do apologize. But when you go into the menu, you will see that you have to get 6 kills in a single game, 6 times with the Tempest. Believe it or not, I know that sounds treacherous, but that is actually very, very easy. And as first, start things off, first things first. Chaos Mosh Pit is going to be your best friend. Believe it or not, for Dark Matter, for every single ridiculous challenge that I had to do on this game, I did all of it in Nuketown. I got all my headshots in Nuketown. I got all my hero outfits in Nuketown. Everything I did in this game was probably in Nuketown. Except for my gameplays, I'm not going to talk about that. But regardless, for Nuketown, you're going to want to play game modes like Hardpoint, Safeguard, and maybe you can get away with Domination. The easiest way I can do this, and I'll even show some gameplay, is just start shooting the hard point like crazy. Get to the hard point. You cannot camp for this. For those who are thinking about sitting in a building and waiting for people to walk by, that is not going to happen. The easiest way to do this is to play hard point. Go towards the hard point, especially if the enemy has it. Try to find a way to jump shot or something and try not to get picked off. But you gotta make sure that you're shooting people on the hard point. That way, even if you do die, you'll, it'll chain and get a lucky multi kill, maybe a double kill if you're not feeling so lucky. But guaranteed, if you guys do this method, you, you can get like 20 kills with a Tempest in a single game. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a clip right here. As you can see, playing some combined, and you guys can see me using the Tempest. I shoot two guys to start it off, and then I come around the corner, shoot two guys again, and then get a five man. That's seven kills with a Tempest, already done. Literally, I just completed one sixth of the challenge in just one use of the Tempest. You guys, that's what I'm saying. The Tempest is so easy, guys. So that's the best recommendation I can do. You can do it on, you can play Hardened Point on other maps, but I just recommend Nuketown because it's smaller and you, the enemies are always constantly in your face, so you don't have to worry about running to the spawn. Now moving on to the hard one, and that is the glitch. This one is going to take you a little bit of some time, guys. I'm not even kidding. This is the hardest one in the whole game. But worry not, guys. I have the best tutorial for you guys. So let's start off. We're going to start off with the class setup that you're going to be needing. This is also useful for the Tempest setup. But let's start off with the class setup, and I'll show it on screen for you guys. Now the class setups that you're going to be going to be using, guys, is the M8A7 and the KN44. The reason why I say these two guns is because these are two of the easiest guns in the game to use. Or if you prefer an SMG, you can use that as well. But for me personally, this is what I use to get the glitch done. And basically, what you do is the M8A7. I recommend these three attachments: stop so you can move quicker, high caliber so you can deal that extra damage, and the ELO or the red dot sight or reflex if you want to call it. Whichever one you prefer, I prefer the ELO sight. And as for your perks, this one is pretty important. You got to make sure you're using flak jacket because occasionally you're going to be up in people's faces a lot. People are going to be spamming grenades, especially in hard point, and you don't want to have to worry about that. Your second perk, you're going to need perk one greed for this. You're going to want to be using overclock. This is going to enable you to get your glitch roughly three times faster, I believe. I will show a clip, uh, some gameplay of it, as you guys can see in some of the gameplay that I'm showing. You guys can see that I'm getting my glitch ridiculously quickly. I can get it roughly seven or even eight times in a game if I can make it last extremely long. And as for your second perk, you're going to be using Scavenger or Fast Hands. You can use either or, but if you plan on dying a lot, then use Fast Hands because you're going to be able to aim down sight a lot quicker and take out your enemies a lot quicker as you're glitching out of your certain location but for me i tend to go on kill streaks quite often so i go with scavenger but you can go whatever you prefer with your second third perk should i say you're going to be wanting to be using tax mask like i said you're going to be on the hard point and the robot a lot you want to make sure that you have this right perk set up because if you get all up in their faces trying to go for that glitch kill 
you're gonna die because of the fact that they're just spamming stun grenades at you like crazy. So task mass is a must. I do not recommend using any other perk in here. Uh, these aren't very useful at all. Like I said, you're gonna be in the enemy's faces. And this is important. My friend actually taught me this. He taught me this after I finished the challenge already, which is kind of unfortunate. But basically, what you got to do is you got to use a Sentex. The reason why I say Sentex is because what you can do is, is that unfortunately, I actually don't like gameplay of this, but what you do is you throw a nade and try to stick the guy or throw it in a high traffic area, and then you glitch before it goes off. And if you get the kill after glitching, it still counts towards your challenge. So that's a nice little tip that I recommend you guys try out. I personally actually tried this out after I completed the challenge. And it, it actually works fairly well. I got it done. Or not got it done. But I got a lot of kills with it. And I probably would have completed it a lot quicker than the normal way that I did it. So that's probably the fastest way. If you just want to go straight, strictly for Semtex kills, I guarantee you, you'll get it done within like an hour. Probably or less. As for the second class setup, you're gonna want to be gonna want to be using the KN44 with the red dot or the reflex, whatever you want to call it, the high caliber and fast mags. Use those only attachments. Same exact perk setup and same grenade setup. Nothing else changes there. Like I said, you can use whatever gun you prefer. These are the two weapons that I recommend that you go with. Uh, I don't recommend Shiva or anything like that because you're gonna be in their faces a lot. Now you may be thinking, why is overclocked necessary? Well, check out this clip real quick. So in this clip, I did a full B rush by myself, I didn't rely on my teammates at all. As you can see, look at this kill. Look how much XP I get towards my glitch specialist. It's a ridiculous amount using overclock, as you can see from that little clip right there. So you're going to want to be using overclock. And as for the actual tactic, you guys can see in this clip, in the gameplay, you're going to want to be going towards the robot, the high traffic area, wherever the objective is. Glitch out of that section as soon as people start shooting you, or throw a nade, whichever works for you, and then get behind them and shoot them, as you can see. Don't run in the same direction that you just glitched to, because you're generally going to die and it's not going to work out for you. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if this worked out for you, and let me know if you have any questions, and let me know if you guys want me to do another character for Hero Gear. Anyways, it is your boy, like an 8K, signing out. Peace!